Minus. So, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, but 35 I'll start. I'm waiting since we have 29 students. I'm waiting. Assalamu alaikum to everybody. In the previous class, we were discussing about the, the next new topic. We have taken <coughs> thermochemistry part and uh, we started with uh, what is the meaning of thermochemistry and what we are trying to study in thermochemistry, heat transfer. Yesterday, what we have said, heat transfer we are discussing in case of chemical reaction. And whenever we are discussing heat transfer, it can be discussed either in terms of internal energy are in terms of enthal enthalpy, but <coughs> we said we can discuss heat of reaction at constant volume, internal energy change. Heat of reaction at constant pressure, enthalpy change. In the lab, we are having always constant pressure. Therefore, we discuss in terms of enthalpy change. And then we have said delta H enthalpy change is equal to always HP minus HR, enthalpy of products minus enthalpy of reactants right final minus initial for that we have taken three different graphs exothermic endothermic and thermoneutral process that was the last discussion now today our discussion is okay sir you are saying the heat of reaction is discussed at constant volume and at constant pressure how to go for that one for that purpose let us see how to proceed mm. we have the discussion like this We say the word, I am talking examiner's language now, <coughs> authors and examiner's language, heat of reaction. Actually, they should say enthalpy of reaction, but they say heat of reaction. Nice. If you are discussing heat of reaction, then why do they say like that? See here. This can be done like this. It is heat of reaction at constant volume, it is QV is equal to delta P is equal to NCV delta T in thermodynamics discussion, not now, not now. Similarly, we can say heat 
of reaction at constant pressure. What is that? QP. This is called del H. Okay. That means whenever we are discussing constant volume, it is called change of internal energy. It is called change in enthalpy. Once you understand this, then you may create an objection, sir. Okay, if both of these are different forms of energy, how do you relate it? Already we have related this in the previous chapter, thermodynamic first law. Let us revise it again. Delta H is equal to delta E plus P delta V. This was the discussion we have made. But now it is not useful for us. Why? We are not discussing work done. P delta V is amount of work done, mechanical work, expansion and compression. We are discussing thermal chemical reaction. In chemical reaction, you may have change in volume, you may have change in pressure, you may have change in number of moles. Therefore, remember that this is to be replaced by using ideal gas equation PV is equal to NRT. Wherever P is concerned, you are saying constant pressure, R is constant T. We are discussing at constant temperature. What is left out? V proportional to N. This implies this equation may be modified as del H is equal to del E plus del N R T. Yes, P delta V can also be written as delta N R T because I have replaced delta V as delta N R T remains as it is constant. Now, when you are saying this delta N R T, then the question is what is this delta N? Remember that. This delta N is given a subscript always by authors G. Delta N G means change in number of moles of gaseous substances, right? That means in the chemical reaction, if you're having solids, don't count them. If you're having uh, liquids, don't count them. If reactants and products are in the gaseous state only, you have to count. Otherwise, it has to be not to be counted. This implies relation between enthalpy change and internal energy change should be given by this expression. Okay, very good, sir. Once you have this one, then you may have again one question, sir. What about delta N possible values? Yes, if you are saying delta N, what is delta N? Delta N G. What is delta N G? Delta N G means number of moles of products minus number of moles of reactants, but only for gases. We should not count for solids and liquids. Why? Sir, this whole discussion is based upon PV is equal to NRT. How can you apply this equation for solids and liquids? Therefore, we take only gaseous substances. Now, this delta NG. Suppose, for example, if you are saying, sir, this delta NG may have different possibilities. Possibility number one. What is that? Delta N equals to zero. That means NP is equal to NR. If you have such type of chemical reactions, where number of moles of reactants and products, number of moles of gaseous reactants and products are same. If it is so, then what happens? Nothing will happen. Very simple, sir. This is supposed to be something like this. If it is so, then we say it is delta N is equal to zero implies delta H equals to delta E. This implies when we talk about enthalpy change of chemical reaction, that is equal to change of internal energy if delta N is equal to zero. Okay. By the way, let us take an enjoy an example. What is that? Hmm. H2 plus I2 gives you two HI. Suppose if I take this in the form of gas, this also in the form of gas. If I take like this, then what is delta N? Two minus two. Therefore, delta N is zero, delta H is equal to delta E. Okay, let us take a typical example. Uh, what is that? C6H2O6. Glucose plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide plus water. Six carbons, yes. Uh, 12 hydrogens, okay. Then we are having 12 plus 6, 18, yes. Uh, this is glucose, solid. This is gas. This is gas. This is combustion reaction. Remember, we get liquid. Okay, that we'll discuss again separately. Come on. What is delta M? 6 minus 6. 
zero. Therefore, delta H is equal to delta E. This is case number one. Case number two. No, sir. Delta N is more than zero. What is the meaning of more than zero? Number of moles of products are more than number of moles of reactants. If it is so, what happens? If it is more, delta H equals to, sorry, delta H is more than delta E. That means whenever we have chemical reactions for which the change in number of moles of gaseous substances is positive, then delta H dominates. Okay, what is the example? Any example you can take, for example, number of moles products is more. Hmm, how to proceed? Uh, 2NH3 gives you N2 plus 3H2. All of these are gases. Ammonia is a gas, nitrogen is a gas, hydrogen is gas. Therefore, 4 minus 2, 4 minus 2 is equal to positive 2. Such type of chemical reactions will have delta H value more than delta E. Suppose, for example, you are saying, okay, so let us take another case. What is another case? Very simple, sir. Delta N less than zero. If delta N is less than zero, then what happens? Here in this case, number of moles of products are less than number of moles of reactants. This implies delta H value will be less than delta E, right? Whatever the symbol available for delta N, yaha less hai, yaha less laga do. Thinking ke zarurat nahi hai. Jahan sunshna nahi hai, waan time waste nahi karma. If it is more, it is more. Over. Now, if you want to take example, what you people say, sir, is ko thaage paltha dije. Let us create some new thing. What is that? Number of moles products must be less. Two moles of SO2 reacts with O2 so as to give you two moles of SO3. This is gas, gas, gas. This is the way with which we can try to relate enthalpy and internal energy. Right? Whenever the problem says heat of reaction at constant volume, delta E. Heat of reaction at constant pressure, delta H. Go ahead.
Shall I proceed? ठीक है ठीक है लिखिए लिखिए राइट ऑन राइट ऑन प्लीज राइट ऑन गो हेड गो हेड try to visualize the examples <clears throat> you should know the physical state they'll give you definitely in the question but while doing practice in avasthi try to memorize keep in mind it. solids liquids we have to neglect them Other students finished. Very good. Come on. Now, once you understand the relation between delta H and delta E, our main concern is not delta E. Our concern is only with respect to delta H. Then. What is delta H? Del H is change in enthalpy. This is known as change in enthalpy. The name. Okay, ठीक है. When we are discussing change in enthalpy, remember that this change in enthalpy is number one. It is an extensive property. That means it depends upon. Number of moles because we are discussing chemical reactions. Then we talk about quantity as number of moles. Number two, remember that it is a state function. Delta H is a an extensive property and it is a state function. Okay, ठीक है. Once you understand this, then you may have a question, sir. I know what is delta H. I know what are the relation between delta H and delta E possible values. Now the question is. what are the factors affecting delta h remember delta h depends upon now you start thinking because you people are genius you can understand and create if i ask you to just enjoy your mind and think then roll number 1 stand up he said sir delta h depends upon nature of reactants okay you people are genius i don't want to have this nature of reactants and products what is the meaning of that rule number 1 is saying a plus b gives you c plus d a reaction delta h alpha rule number 2 is saying no no p plus q gives you r plus s is it same reaction no sir different reaction what we have done we have changed the nature of reactants right a plus b X plus Y different, right? No, no. Rule number three says no, sir. 
I have done reaction A plus B gives you X plus Y, A plus B give you P plus R. It is also different reaction. Reactants are same, products are different. Again, it is different reaction. Okay. So if suppose you are changing either of the reactant or product, which is called a new reaction, delta H value changes, right? Then what happens? One more student stand up, sir, sir. It only depends upon nature of reaction products, but no, apart from this, shall I say, sir, I have dependence of delta H on physical state of reactants and products. What is the meaning of that? This means to say, this boy is saying, sir, I have taken a chemical reaction in such a way that A is solid, B is solid. A plus B gives a product. Rule number two, no, no, A solid, A liquid, B liquid. Rule number three say, no, 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 no. It is A gas, B gas. If I am changing different physical state, naturally the amount of energy release will be different. Okay, very good. If suppose, for example, we are discussing this, then people are started thinking because if people are genius, therefore, sir, we can think further more. One boy stood up, he said, sir, I am having carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide, but I have taken first graphite, second time I have taken diamond. What happens? Yes, energy differs. Therefore, not only it depends upon physical state of electric reactants and products, it also depends upon electropic modifications, electropic forms of reactants only. We don't talk about products here in this case. Okay, nice. Next. What next? Still, you people are thinking, okay, sir, what is can be done? I can take nature of reactant, physical state of reactant and product, electropic forms. Then one boy said, sir, why don't you talk about temperature? Yes, enthalpy is a form of energy. Energy always depends upon temperature. Remember, internal energy depends upon temperature and volume. Enthalpy depends upon temperature and pressure. Therefore, author says like this, H is a function of T comma P. That is, enthalpy depends upon temperature and pressure. We are taking constant pressure, it depends upon temperature. Hence, these are the factors upon which enthalpy of chemical reaction depends. Okay, sir, nice, understood it. Next question, what comes to your mind? I got all the information, sir. Now, can you please tell me, what do you mean by the word enthalpy? Do you have only one or you have different types? Yes, different type of enthalpies, type of enthalpy. I am not writing peace in enthalpy. Okay. What is the meaning of this? This means to say, you are saying nature of reactant is products, but you can also talk about nature of reaction. Remember, reactants and products are different. Reaction is different. How do you classify the reactions? Depending upon the way of classification of reaction, we have enthalpy. For example, case number one, A. Heat of reaction, I'll say enthalpy of reaction. The name is enthalpy of reaction. And what examiner will say this one? Heat of reaction at constant pressure. Heat of reaction at constant pressure is called enthalpy of reaction. Now remember here, the beauty of this chapter is to understand the examples and the definitions very systematically. If you do so, you can enjoy the problems. Otherwise, without knowing, and the previous chapters, what I said, if you know the formula, you can do the problem. Here, formula is, of course, important. Expression is important, but definition is also important, which can give help to solve the problem. Enthalpy of reaction is amount of heat energy. Amount of heat energy. released or absorbed. What is the meaning of this? You are not going to write negative sign or a positive sign. Whatever he has given, delta H negative, yesterday, exothermic. Delta H positive, endothermic. Whatever given to you, take it. Apni taraf se kuch nahi karna hai. Amount of heat energy released or absorbed when a chemical reaction takes place Power is gone, power is gone. When a chemical reaction takes place, as represented by 
by a balanced equation. That's all. Enthalpy of reaction is defined as the amount of heat energy, the amount of heat energy released or absorbed, exo or endo, when a chemical reaction takes place as proposed by balanced equation. Okay, sir, I am trying to understand, but uh, can you give me example so that it can be clarified properly? Okay, carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide. Is it balanced equation? Yes, sir. Whatever the amount of energy, right? No need to remember the number they will give you, but however, some examples I can enjoy this kilocalories. It is called enthalpy of reaction. No, sir, H2 plus O2 gives you H2O. Is it balanced reaction? Yes, sir. If it is so, whatever the amount of energy released, this is known as enthalpy of reaction, right? Negative, I said. Let us take one example. H2 plus Cl2 gives you 2HCl. Enthalpy of reaction. No need to memorize the values. They will give you. It's my job to remember, not your job. Alpha, beta, gamma, something. Right? This is what you have to learn. Is it balanced equation? Yes. If it is so, go ahead. That is known as enthalpy of reaction. Come on, write it down. Then we'll proceed. I'm unable to understand your doubt. Enthalpy depends upon first point. What is that first point? Uski jaga pe, first point ki jaga pe. Maha chai likha hai. Ko pus sakte aap. Kya puchna chaha hai? Which first point? Nature of reactants and products. Is it doubtful to you? No response. Okay. Kya doubt hai bata boliye. Aapko mein example kya diya zara bolo mere ko. I said A plus B gives you products. P plus gives you products. Dono same hai alag hai. Are they same or different? Different. Why they are different? A plus B is different. P plus Q is different. Is it not nature of reactant and product? Go ahead, go ahead. Thoda sa, thoda sa. Thoda sa, sochne ki salahiyat paida ka. You are involving, excellent. I appreciate all of you, those who are involving because dust particles by the grace of God have been removed from the class by applying new technique known as email. It's very good for you, that's so you can enjoy the whole content of the lecturers. You are having lecturers, all those are oceans. Take care. Thoda sa. Thoda sa. Sonch ne ki. Tendency. Or tendency banao. I should think here. I should think here. What exam will ask for enthalpy of reaction? I don't know, Abita. Ibadur Ibrahim Muddin, I don't know. I don't know because your question is out of the way. Aapko question pushna nahi aaya. Smucho kya pushna chaha hai. Please don't ask such things which forces me to remove you from the class. The question is what examiner will ask? Abhi phone number de toh, mila ke baat kar lije, kya puch hai? Asal nahi, asal nahi. 
एग्जामिनर क्या पूछ रहा है उसकी ही तैयारी कर रहे बेटा हम उसी की तैयारी कर रहे हैं जब मैं क्वेश्चंस कराऊंगा तब आपको पता चलेगा कि हाँ एग्जामिनर ऐसा पूछता है हम ये सीखे थे इज इट शल आई प्रोसीड नेचर ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स एंड प्रोडक्ट्स राइट हैंड साइड एंथालपी ऑफ रिएक्शन एंथालपी ऑफ रिएक्शन In first example, left hand side, right hand side. You are asking right hand side. Right hand side, the C plus O two gives you CO two. Delta H R enthalpy of reaction. R का मतलब है reaction. No sir, I am asking. What you are asking, I don't know, beta. After as where is it as here enthalpy of reaction amount of heat energy released or absorbed when a chemical reaction takes place as represented by as represented by यहाँ पे देखो R E P यहाँ पे है hyphen है represented represented है पूरा मिला तो क्या भाई खैरियत हम्म कहाँ से हैं कौन से स्कूल के हैं इतना क्लियर भी समझ में नहीं आ रहा चलिए 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 नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम ओके नो प्रॉब्लम गो हेड गो हेड जब मैं पढ़ाते रहता हूं ना उस वक्त आपका ध्यान पूरा रहा तो हर चीज खुला खुला क्या लिखा हुआ है कैसा लिखा हुआ है सब समझ में आता उस वक्त ध्यान देना चलिए वॉट इज एंथालपी ऑफ रियक्शन क्या समझना है डेफिनेशन Examples, definition, examples. Number one, enthalpy of reaction. Chali. Number two, a comment. Duplicate the slide. Cut it whole. Is it going to be here? Yeah, of course. Done. Now B. That a enthalpy of reaction. Am I in B? What is B? B is enthalpy of formation. यहाँ पे आप notes जब लिखेंगे star डालिए. Enthalpy of formation. हम इसको कैसे denote करेंगे? Delta H F. Examiner क्या बोलेगा? Heat of reaction बोलेगा. Heat of reaction. ठीक है? चलिए, what is this formation? Formation, listen to that one. It is the amount of heat energy released or absorbed. यहाँ भी आपको मालूम नहीं है. जो दिया आप बोलेंगे माइनस दिया तो माइनस यूज करेंगे इफ इट इज गिवन पॉजिटिव अब्जॉर्व व्हेन वन मोल ऑफ ए सब्सटेंस इज फॉर्म फ्रॉम इट्स थर्मोडायनामिकली Stable elements. बहुत सी चीजें यहाँ doubt आएगा आपको मैं समझाते जा रहा हूँ कि it is the amount of heat and release absorbed. ठीक है सर यहाँ तक तो समझ में आ गया. When one mole of substance ये condition है. One mole ही बनना पड़ेगा. One mole of substance is formed, formed from its elements. सिंपल सी बात थी फ्रॉम इट्स एलिमेंट्स बात खत्म हुई एक नया चक्कर चला रहे फ्रॉम इट्स थर्मोडायनेमिकली स्टेबल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थर्मोडायनेमिकली स्टेबल एलिमेंट्स अब एक एक चीज समझते चलेंगे चलिए एग्जांपल कार्बन प्लस ऑक्सीजन गिव्स यू कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड पहले ये लेंगे जल्दी समझ में आएगा 
if I am discussing water, it will be comfortable for you because it is not genius. H2 plus half. Up they go. Are you preparing one mole of water? Yes, sir. For that, I have taken half. You can do anything. Half low, 3 by 2 low, 5 by 2 low. But here, one mole will be. One mole of water from its elements. So, thermodynamically, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. One mole of substance is formed from its element. Right? Here in this case, enthalpy, which will be released, what will we say? Enthalpy of formation of water is equal to minus 68 kilocalories. पर मोल पीछे जाइए आई हैव नॉट रिटर्न द वर्ड पर मोल यहां देखो किलो कैलोरीज व्हाई टू मोल्स भी बन सकते वन मोल भी बन सकते हमको क्या देखना था ये रिएक्शन बैलेंस है या नहीं है अगर बैलेंस है तो जो भी एनर्जी रिलीज होगी व्हाट एवर द अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी रिलीज इट मस्ट बी कॉल्ड एज एन्थैल्पी ऑफ रिएक्शन बट हियर नो 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 सर आई एम नॉट चेकिंग बैलेंसिंग ऑफ द कंडीशन व्हाट आई एम चेकिंग व्हेदर यू आर हैविंग फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वन मोल और नॉट if you are preparing one mole of substance from its elements, it is said to be enthalpy of formation. ठीक है? चलिए अब सर ये thermodynamically stable क्या है ये दिमाग में जब से itching हो रही है, tension हो रहा है क्या सर ये क्या चीज़ है? Yes, चलिए carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide. Del H, right? Is equal to first of all tell me is it formation of carbon dioxide or not sir one mole of substance carbon mono carbon dioxide is formed okay it is correct but I should say this is solid this is of course gas and gas when I say solid then you people are genius therefore you say no no sir it is not a solid here you write down whether it is a graphite or diamond yes. If suppose you are writing graphite, remember graphite is thermodynamically stable form of carbon. Four marks, doctors. IIT, it's over. This question has been asked in organic chemistry. We have found the following. Which of the following is thermodynamically more stable? Diamond, carbon, both, none. Answer is graphite is thermodynamically more stable. Ye aapko ab yaad rakhna hai. Thermodynamically Graphite, carbon is more stable in graphite form. Therefore, it is called enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide is equal to minus 94 kilocalories per mole. Energy, I don't want to remember, sir. I will remember one mole of carbon dioxide is formed from its elements. But which type of elements? Thermodynamically stable form of elements. Achha, agar ye aisa hai, to thoda sa aur ek side dekhi photograph ka. Carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide. This is diamond and this is gas. This is gas. If you say so, it also gives you some energy. Delta H is equal to minus alpha, 94.7. I'm not writing it. Okay. If it is so, can I say this is enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide? No, sir. It is not enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide because it is not formed from thermodynamically stable form of the element. Therefore, remember, it, in one mole of substance should be formed from its thermodynamically stable form of elements. Enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide? No, you should not say that. There is something else, but this is not enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide. Is it clear? Okay. Suppose, for example, someone says you carbon monoxide plus half mole of carbon oxygen, sorry, to give you carbon dioxide. This is enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide. Can you please, anybody help me? True or false? Should I call this as enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide or not? True or false? I don't know. Please help me. False. Who is saying false? Most of you are saying false. Very good. Very good. Anybody want to say true? Rabba Zaid, false. Then uh, uh, Ishaq Hamza, false. But there is a problem here. Rabba Zaid is saying it is false, not thermodynamically stable. You are wrong, but you are wrong. Throw the mouth pressure, Dali. Kyu false. When you are saying false, I am happy. I am very happy. But when you are saying thermodynamically not stable, I am very much unhappy. Can you please tell me why it is false? Anybody? 
Yes, Ishaq is saying carbon monoxide is not element. Excellent, excellent. One moon is formed, definitely. But is it an element? No, sir. No, sir. It is carbon monoxide. Therefore, you are preparing carbon dioxide. True. You are preparing one mole. True. Are you preparing from the elements? No. First, check one mole. Next, check elements. Third, check thermodynamic stable. It is not an element. It is a compound. Carbon monoxide itself is a compound. Therefore, it is not correct. Those who are thinking on those lines, excellent. Okay. Please try to be synchronized with my thought process. Sir, how should I go with respect to thermodynamically stable systems? For that purpose, the requirements of the exam train For example, enthalpy of formation. Graphite is of P4 white phosphorus is zero. Okay, wait a minute. Thermodynamically more stable one is a panic or it just but that fine. Suppose, for example, you are saying that you are having the enthalpy of formation. Okay. Suppose if you are measuring this enthalpy of formation, I think your examples are clear now to understand one mole of substance from elements, thermodynamically stable form of elements. Shall you? I am measuring enthalpy of formation at 25 degrees centigrade temperature and one atmosphere pressure, if it is so, remember, this is known as, this is known as standard enthalpy of formation. Standard enthalpy formation, bolo, combustion, jo bhi bolna hai, standard enthalpy bolo. Kaisa likhenge? Delta HF, sir ke upar taaj pehnaenge. Delta HF not. What is this? How to read it? Standard enthalpy of formation. Okay, up. What is the meaning of this? Okay, sir. It is defined as the amount of energy released or absorbed when one mole of substance is formed from its thermodynamically stable elements at 25 degrees centigrade temperature and one atmosphere pressure. What definition? Pura is add 25 degrees centigrade temperature, one atmosphere pressure. अब ये समझ में आ गया तो थोड़ा सा एक चीज मुझको समझ में नहीं आई वो जरा जवाब दीजिए ही इज आस्किंग स्टैंडर्ड एन्थैल्पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स आंसर दिया हुआ है मोर देन 0 लेस देन 0 इक्वल टू 0 आई डोंट वांट टू आंसर ए बी सी डी व्हिच ऑप्शन इज सूटेबल गो अहेड आई एम रिपीटिंग स्टैंडर्ड एन्थैल्पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स Should I say zero? Positive, negative. Positive ka matlab endothermic, negative ka matlab exothermic, zero ka matlab no loss, no gain. Ya phir, no sir, reaction is not possible. Bolo, anybody? Positive, Moise, positive. Abdullah Sohel is not interested, therefore he is saying, I don't know. He is not interested in that. Chaliye. In interpretation, but I am a teacher. I am having positive attitude of life. I don't know. Chalo, beta. Next, anybody? More than zero. Positive Moise is saying, you are also saying more than zero. Hai, or maybe positive, maybe negative reaction, not possible. Hai, chaliye. Koi baat nahi. Koi baat nahi. Response is okay. Positive. Hai, chalo. D option, I said, I don't know. So, hey, <clears throat> beta, please, class, mein raho, beta. Now, listen to me carefully. Aapki thought process mein kaha garbar hai, usko please check karo. Please check karo. Thik hai? Enthalpy of formation of elements. What is the meaning of enthalpy of formation? Sir, I am preparing one mole of substance from its elements. Can you prepare elements from elements? So, definition is not the definition. Can you prepare one mole of element from elements? No, you cannot prepare elements. God will prepare elements. Oh, God is God. You can't make it. What can you do? You can make an element from compounds. I can prepare oxygen. 
नॉट फ्रॉम एलिमेंट बहुत एलिमेंट है ना एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक आई कैन प्रिपेयर एलिमेंट बट फ्रॉम कंपाउंड आई कैन क्रिएट हाइड्रोजन मैग्नीशियम प्लस एच सी एल गिव यू हाइड्रोजन बट आर यू प्रिपेयरिंग फ्रॉम एलिमेंट सर मैग्नीशियम एलिमेंट है ठीक है वट एवर एच सी एल कंपाउंड देर फोर रिमेंबर दट वी कैन नेवर 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 प्रिपेयर एनी एलिमेंट इट इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ गॉड what we grew we can prepare the elements from compounds we cannot prepare the elements from elements therefore remember always standard enthalpy of formation of any element is taken as zero standard enthalpy of formation of element is taken as zero why sir we cannot prepare elements from elements yes sir we can prepare elements from compounds we have prepared in 10th class we have prepared hex Uh, hydrogen gas in right lower classes we have prepared chlorine gas also but all we have prepared from molecules from compounds not from the elements is it clear okay this is one thing ab yahan aur ek question kya aayega sir which element which element ye question acha puchhega koi ladka to kya bolenge sir thermodynamically stable element yes ab question kya aayega sir wo kya cheez hai कार्बन में ग्राफाइट में समझ में आ गया सर अब हम याद कर लिए कि ग्राफाइट और कार्बन में थर्मोडाइनमिकली स्टेबल कौन है ग्राफाइट है बाकी दूसरों में कैसा करेंगे आगे के स्क्रीन में बताऊंगा पहले लिख लो फर्स्ट राइट डाउन दिस देन आई विल गो अहेड ट्राई टू क्रिएट रिदम इन लर्निंग क्या पूछना है किसके बाद का क्वेश्चन क्या होना मेरे ذہن में क्या आना चाहिए बिहेव लाइक अ साइंटिस्ट गो अहेड नहीं बेटा रिएक्शन पॉसिबल होगा लेकिन क्वेश्चन क्या था आर यू एबल टू प्रिपेयर योर थिंकिंग प्रोसेस थोड़ा सा डिविएट हो रहा है उसको सही कर रिमेनिंग थिंग इज एक्सेलेंट यू आर गोइंग वेरी गुड एंड आई हैव सीन मार्क्स आल्सो एक्सेलेंट आंसर आई विल अप्रिशिएट योर एफर्ट्स थोड़ा सा थॉट प्रोसेस को एक लाइन पे लेके आइए टाइम लगता टाइम लगता लेकिन कोशिश करना अपना काम डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली विल फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री में आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन एट क्वेश्चन आएंगे इन शह दस के चांसेस हैं दस आ रहे हैं मेरा कंटेंशन ये है और ये मैं अलहमद ला प्रूव कर चुका हूँ फोर्टी आते मेरे बच्चे टेन क्वेश्चन आए तो फोर्टी आते बाप समझ जाओ एट क्वेश्चन आए थर्टी टू आते मतलब नो नेगेटिव क्या करना कुछ भी नहीं करना सिर्फ सिस्टमेटिकली नोट्स पढ़ना अवस्थी लेवल वन लेवल थ्री अगर हो सका तो लेवल में बस बात खत्म <coughs> लेकिन एफर्ट्स इन्वॉल्व होकर लगाना सुपरफिशियल नहीं इन्वॉल्व होना वही इट इज हैपनिंग हाउ इट इज हैपनिंग हरे अब हरे अब चले को सी Shall I proceed? There is one boy. I have to appreciate his way of asking, uh, sir. But some synthetic elements are made like technetium. Look, how much gap there is in science learning. Me, right? Your, 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 न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शंस वो अलग ब्रांच है न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शंस न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शंस शल ए प्रोसीड सोहेल ओवर राइट कमान नाउ अब क्वेश्चन आपके सामने क्या है सर आई अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एंथलपी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन एंड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एंथलपी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन दैट आल्सो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड राइट बट क्वेश्चन हियर इन दिस केस इज हाउ डू यू प्रोसीड फॉर थर्मोडाइनमिकली स्टेबल ये चीजें क्या करना है आपको याद रखना है हम क्या क्या याद रख सकते हैं देखिए कभी कभी आपको पैरेट बनना पड़ेगा वो क्या है देखो 
standard enthalpy of formation of fluorine zero which fluorine gas i cannot prepare fluorine from elements iska matlab ye hua chalo standard enthalpy of formation of chlorine matlab thermodynamically stable ho gaya hai gas is zero a be very good standard enthalpy of formation of bromine gas is not equal to zero ab yahan rukna hai aap ye kya problem hai sir iska matlab remember bromine exist in nature in the form of liquid therefore standard enthalpy of formation of liquid benzene is equal to zero thermodynamically stable usko kehte hain jo kudrat mein zyada se zyada hota hai naturally more abundant ko hum ek naam denge thermodynamically more stable to bromine ye gas hai ye bhi gas hai nature mein but it is liquid therefore enthalpy of formation of bromine liquid is zero but but enjoy the example is a gift for you enthalpy of formation of bromine gas yes it is not equal to zero sir main bana sakta hu kaise banayenge liquid lunga liquid ko heat karunga gas banaunga are you preparing from element yes bromine liquid element are you preparing liquid one mole of bromine yes sir that means jo cheez nature mein hai wo hum nahi bana sakenge element ko elements compounds banayenge compounds element banayenge but you cannot prepare that चलो ऐसा ही एग्जाम्पल क्या होगा एंथलपी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ आयोडीन आयोडीन एग्जिस्ट इन नेचर एज अ सॉलिड आई कैन नॉट प्रिपेयर सर व्हाट आई कैन प्रिपेयर सप्लाई एनर्जी वंस सप्लाई ऑफ एनर्जी व्हाट हैपेंस आयोडीन सब्लिमेट्स लोअर क्लासेस टीचर टोल्ड यू आयोडीन अंडरगो सब्लिमेशन इफ इट इज सो दिस इंप्लाइज दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो आई कैन प्रिपेयर इट आई कैन प्रिपेयर इट इज इट क्लियर नेक्स्ट similarly enthalpy of formation standard enthalpy of formation of phosphorus p4 which form of phosphorus white form of phosphorus you cannot prepare it because it is thermodynamically more stable ab zara thoda sa yahan pe jo log really interest lekar sunte hain krishna mohan sir kya bolenge aapko white phosphorus is chemically less stable he is right chemically less stable bol rahe sir मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ थर्मोडाइनेमिकली मोर स्टेबल और हम थर्मोडाइनेमिकली मोर स्टेबल वर्ड वी यूज फॉर दोस फेलोस हू आर मोर अबंडेंट इन द नेचर दोस सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच आर अवेलेबल इन द नेचर टू लार्ज एक्सटेंड वी यूज द वर्ड थर्मोडाइनेमिकली स्टेबल ऑन द कंट्ररी इफ यू से एंथैल्पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनी अदर फॉर्म ऑफ फास्फोरस येलो फास्फोरस रेड फास्फोरस स्कारलेट फास्फोरस अदर फॉर्म्स व्हिच फॉर्म इलेक्ट्रोपिक फॉर्म इज i can prepare it sir from white phosphorus i can prepare it similarly standard enthalpy of formation of rhombic sulfur naturally existing i cannot prepare no sir i can enjoy a game where i can convert rhombic sulfur to monoclinic sulfur it is not equal to zero is that clear like this we have to understand the concept behind that one don't memorize the examples understand thermodynamically more stable naturally existing systems we can go for that similarly what we have said already standard enthalpy of formation of uh, carbon graphite is equal to zero no sir using graphite i can prepare diamond not equal to zero go ahead with this remaining element Muhammad Mubinur Rahman do you belong to this section Muhammad Mubinur Rahman
Yes, but I have removed it. I have removed it. Roll number, section likhi, aram se itanan se, sharafat se class ke andar aayi. Enjoy ki jai beauty, subject to beauty ko enjoy ki jai. Kitna samhaya ke baad, kiru vai haala. Khair chalo koi baat. Is it over? Right. Now, we got enthalpy of reaction, enthalpy of formation. In the next class, we'll try to enjoy relation between these two fellows. Problems, kaisa karna chahiye. Uske liye kal theoretical discussion. Tomorrow we'll discuss this. Till then, enjoy enthalpy of formation and thermodynamically stable form of elements. Thank you. Sound. Thank you.